So Joanne says, I dated this guy for about six months. Very nice, very attentive, very polite. But as time went on, they were things I did not like, was not attracted to, and he won't take no for an answer. Try to end it, and he won't take no for an answer. Well, Joanne, he doesn't get to say <laughs> whether he takes no for an answer or not, right? You can get restraining orders against him. You can, you know get other people involved if you need to, but you can block them everywhere. So he doesn't get to say whether you're going to date him or not. You get to say that. And so you have to make sure that you're taking responsibility for it and blocking him anywhere you need to block him and, you know, getting charges against him anywhere you need to get charges against him and let him know that you're going to do that and that you're serious and that you never want to talk to him again and then never respond to him. And if he messages you, don't respond to him. If you need to get a restraining order, get a restraining order. If you need to cut him off and block him on everything, cut him off and block him on everything. That's what you need to do. And, and if you don't know, you can block people on your phone as well. Usually if you contact your service provider, you can usually block people depending on which service you have. And so he doesn't get a say, Joanne, you get to say, and that is your power. And don't give your power to him, right? Don't let him determine whether you are going to be in a relationship with him or not. Let you decide that he doesn't get to control that. So I hope that makes sense to you, Joanne. 